Hi there, this is Todd at BizLadder. In this short video, we're going to talk about payment forms inside of Wix. This is a form that actually allows you to accept payments from directly within that form on your Wix website, meaning your form will send somebody directly into the checkout process, uh, thus avoiding your having to create separate uh, quote unquote e-commerce pages or even a cart and checkout page uh, management. So for this example here, we're going to work with an existing form and we're specifically going to talk about how to modify the payments that are available within that form. So you can see in this example, we have six individual and family options, but we only have four down here in the actual form. These are just text boxes up here. So for example, if we wanted to add another one, we'd select this group, uh, we'd copy, we paste and then we could simply edit the text as needed. I'm going to undo all that. Let's fix my formatting. Okay. So we've got six up here. We only have four down here in the actual form. So to, to correct that, to add the two new ones, these lifetime membership options, we're going to click into the form, into the payment settings, click payment settings, and then your item list here, add another item. So you can see it adds it and it automatically drops it in there. For US based uh, merchants, this uh, trailing dollar sign, that's something Wix is aware of. Um, it's not an option to change as of the time of this video, but Hopefully it will be soon. So we're going to add training center individual lifetime. Check my spelling. Looks okay. And we're going to change the price. This would be three thousand plus the twenty-five dollar member or uh, application fee for this particular plan. And you can see we've updated there. As soon as you add this price here. Uh, that is going to automatically be an option and automatically be included in the, the checkout. So we're going to add another item. Rename this to Training Center Family Lifetime. Check my spelling. We're good. And we'll edit that price to 5025 now they're a little bit out of order, so you can just click these little dot arrays and hold and drag. And there we go, we've got them in order. It's always a good habit to get in, it's always a good habit to get into of saving and publishing your site once you make changes. For many things like blog posts, product updates, and probably even this payment form, you don't actually have to do this for it to go live on the site. Um, Actually, I take that back. I'm not sure if this payment form is auto-published or not, but it's always a good idea to get in the habit of saving, previewing, and then publishing. And then, of course, after you make any changes, go check it on your live site. Uh, I won't do that in this recorded video, but I'll do it for this client right after we uh, hang up, which is right now. Any questions, reach out. Help at bizladder.com. Thanks.